you got a pack of chicken breasts and don't know what to do with it, watch this video. So I'm starting off by chopping up some celery and carrots. This is going to look like chicken noodle soup. I don't know what it's called this meal, but it's not chicken noodle soup. I wanted it more creamier um, and like a little big, thick texture. <laughs> more than like a soupy texture so whatever y'all want to call this meal let me know in the comments and yeah watch this video trigger warning after you chop up your uh carrots and celery you want to go ahead and clean them okay rinse them off then for your chicken breast i have four chicken breasts i only use four ingredients use the denos green top the tony seasoning some garlic and herb and that garlic seasoning i mean that greek seasoning y'all it's like an all-purpose seasoning it is so good. Then I added some olive oil to my chicken breads just so they can, um, the seasonings can stick. If you add butter to your crock pot, you want to skip this method. Um, skip the olive oil. Just add your, like a tablespoon of butter. Go ahead and preheat your crock pot and put it on high. Y'all, I feel like Josh mama doing this meal because I'm like, I don't never put raw chicken in here, but we're going to see how it turn out. Okay. <laughs> so inside the crock pot, go ahead and add your chicken. Then add in one can of cream of chicken and one can of cream of mushroom and you got to get all of that out of it okay don't waste nothing gets left behind then you want to add a little bit of chicken stock to the bottom of this um crock pot just enough to cover like just to cover the bottom you don't want to add a lot of chicken stock again because i am making it like more of a thick texture than chicken noodle soup and if you have like a um like a spoon or whatever to spread around your cream of chicken and cream of mushroom you want to go ahead and do that and then let it cook this was after one hour of it cooking on high i went ahead and flipped them over and it was starting to look good but remember this chicken is not done okay but after about an hour of them cooking i went ahead and added my celery and my carrots and then i covered it back up and let it cook then i used chicken broth to boil my noodles you can use egg noodles for this recipe you can use panay noodles whatever kind you have i used the bow tie noodles because i thought they were cute and that's the brand that i like to use and that's what they had in the grocery store so this was honestly after about uh 30 minutes or so uh y'all see how the chicken is still not done but the sauce is getting creamier it's getting thicker the vegetables are softening up i just went ahead and like chopped it up a little bit more it will eventually like shred and things like that you will see later on in the video um after about eight minutes not 30 minutes i was talking about for the um pasta i mean for the the chicken y'all for the noodles you only need to boil them for about eight minutes you don't want to overcook them you want to drain off a little bit of the pasta water or well, a lot of it and save a little bit of it just so it can you can add that into the crock pot as well um and then add in all of your noodles after they have been cooking for about two hours i want to say like after the chicken has been cooking for two hours at this point i went ahead and added my noodles and then i added some cajun and tony seasoning on top just to give it some more flavor y'all that's my daughter in the background having so much fun but anyway then i went ahead and mixed it on up and it cooked for about another like 30 or so minutes um i put it on like medium heat for it to cook so it took like two and a half hours for this meal to be completely done and that's it i like it super like thick not creamy like not watery y'all because this is not chicken noodle soup but this is how it came out so two and a half to three hours on like a medium to high heat i added some more cajun seasoning on top and then voila that was literally it we paired it you could pair it with like some garlic bread or whatever on the side some dinner rolls you can eat this for lunch or dinner it does not matter but if you do try this recipe let me know bye